Hi everyone. Uh, this this set of uh, problems deals with period finding the period of sinusoidal functions from equations. So we covered the amplitude and we covered the midline in the previous two videos. So we're going to cover now the period. Now, if you recall, the period is the distance uh, of consecutive maximum values or consecutive minimum values. Correct. However. <clears throat> We look so if we take this function and we graph it and let me show you my settings so here are my x values go from negative 0.5 to positive 2 and my y values go from negative 12 to negative 2 all right again all in radians so if I took a couple of points a couple of these maximum values correct I have negative 0 0.080 negative 0 0.085 comma negative 3 so negative 0 0.085 comma negative 3 I'm going to call that max 1 right so max 1 and let me take another maximum value max 2 which is here 1.1717 comma negative 3 so 1.1717 comma negative 3 okay and as we said, the period is period is the horizontal distance. It's the horizontal distance from consecutive maxes or consecutive mins. So since it's horizontal, we're going to take these two x values and subtract and see what the distance is. So if I took max 2 minus max 1, so max 2 minus max 1, I would get 1.1717 and that would be minus negative 0 0.085 okay and of course keep change change this would turn into an addition here so one two three so this would come out to 1.1 1 1.2 1 1.2 uh, five six okay so that is the period 1.256 would be the period uh, for this particular function right the distance from consecutive max points so let me just make sure that my math is correct and indeed that is correct right two five six okay now in the problem it says give an exact value so we're not sure if the if these if these values are not decimal approximations. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be roughly one and a quarter, correct? One and one quarter. So how can I then get the exact value here? Well, let me just show you right real quickly. Let's see if I can write on Khan Academy. So if you look here, if you look at this value inside the coefficient of x. You see that that coefficient is 5, correct? And that 5 represents what's called a frequency. And frequency is very important when we talk about sinusoidal functions because there is a relationship uh, for frequency and period. And it goes like this. The period is equal to 2 pi over the frequency. Mm -hmm. So if you know the value of the frequency, in other words, the coefficient of the variable x in your function, then you will be able to find the period. So in this case, the period for this function is 2 pi over 5. Now let's see. Let's just do a little quick uh, work in our head. We know that pi is around 3. It's 3.14159. But we'll just cut it down to 3. So approximately 2 times 3 is 6. So what we're saying here is that it's 6 over 5, which is rough, which is basically 1.2. And that sort of confirms what we got when we did this calculation. That's roughly 1.2. Okay? However, they want they want an exact answer, so we're not going to change it to decimal places here. 
we're just going to leave it with the pi like that. Okay, and that's going to serve as our exact answer. So let's type it in and make sure it's correct. So we're going to have 2 pi over 5. Okay, and that is correct. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Here, again, we're given a function. f of x is negative 6 sine of 3 pi x plus 4 minus 2. Again, in order to find the period, okay, we need this, we need to use this relationship. Period is equal to 2 pi over the frequency. Okay, and as we said, the coefficient of x is your frequency. And in this case, it is 3 pi. Okay, so f here is equal to 3 pi. So if we now plug in 3 pi in for f, we're going to get 2 pi over 3 pi. And we know that we can cancel out the pi's here, giving, a, giving us just 2 thirds. And that is our period. So let's type it in. We have 2 over 3, which is correct again. All right, let's do two more. Okay. Again, we look at the function for sine of negative 2x plus 7 minus 1. We identify the coefficient of x. Okay, let's use the blue, which is negative 2. That is our frequency, negative 2. Now, if you look here, frequency of negative 2. Now, num now, the frequency is negative, all right? But I want you to understand that period represents distance, correct? Period is distance. It's the length. It's the length from consecutive maximum values or consecutive minimum values. We know that length can never be negative. So when we do our calculation for period, it's 2 pi over the absolute value of the frequency. Okay, take the absolute value so you don't have a negative period. Negative distance makes no sense, correct? So 2 pi over the absolute value of negative 2, that gives us 2 pi over 2, which can be reduced to just pi. Okay, so in this particular problem, our period is just pi. All right, and then last but not least, our final example. We have 7 sine of negative 3 pi over 4x minus pi over 4 plus 6. Again, identify identify the coefficient of x, which is right in here. That's our f. That's our frequency. So period is equal to 2 pi over the absolute value of negative 3 pi over 4. Like that. Okay. Which again is just... 2 pi over 3 pi over 4. Remember, this is a your dividing fraction, so we can use keep change flip, correct? 2 pi, 2 pi divided by 3 pi over 4 is the same as 2 pi times, and then do the flip now, 4 over 3 pi. Like that. And then we can cancel out the pi's, pi here, pi here, because we know 2 pi is really 2 pi over 1. Right? So the pi's cancel out. Now we multiply across. 2 times 4 is 8. 1 times 3 is 3. So now we have our period. The period is 8 thirds. Now let's type it in. So 8 thirds is our period. And that is correct. Okay, folks? All right, take care.